Extinct Dog Breeds Part 3. This one's about a specific ancient Egyptian doggo named Abu Tiyu. Abu Tiyu is one of the earliest known domestic animals whose name we still know today. He lived at some point during the 6th dynasty, so between 2345 and 2181 BC. In 1934, Egyptologist George A. Reisner found this stone tablet. It was just about here, just west of the Great Pyramid of Giza. The inscription reads, The dog which was the guard of his majesty, Ubu Tiyu is his name, his majesty ordered that he be buried ceremonially, that he be given a coffin from the royal treasury, fine linen in great quantity, and incense. His majesty also gave perfumed ointment and ordered that a tomb be built for him by the gangs of masons. His majesty did this for him in order that he, the dog, might be honored before the great god Anubis. It wasn't uncommon for dogs to be buried in ancient Egypt, but this was a legit burial, like fit for nobility. Based on his translation, Reisner believes that although Ubutiyu was one of the king's favorite guard dogs, he wasn't owned by the king, but was instead owned by one of his servants. But that king, and we don't know which one, presumably wanted Ubutiyu to make it into the afterlife with him and guard him there too. There are a handful of commonly depicted dog breeds from ancient Egypt, but the tablet was all that was found of Ubu Tiyu. No artist depictions and no mummy. But the text refers to him as Tessum, which were thin-framed hunting dogs with pointy ears and curly tails. Kind of like pointy-eared Salukis or Persian Greyhounds.